I'm the trusty businessman and welcome to my office here in Charlotte, North Carolina. I work at Invents Labs and we are here to ignite impact in your organization through operational innovation and impact marketing. We're going to show you how to innovate your business model for success to set yourself apart and differentiate yourself from the competition. So stay tuned and enjoy this episode. Today we're going to be talking about a carpentry business and I wanted to show everyone how to use the LAM model on a carpentry business to differentiate the company from the rest of the competition. And when I worked with this client, uh, they submitted their information um, back in March of 2019 and uh, within just a day I was able to innovate their model slightly but over the next few months getting to know the client I understood that they actually had a huge value proposition that they were kind of holding on to and it took a little bit of time to extract that information from the client. So I'm going to walk you through the, the two-step process of how I went from one model of innovation to another. So let's start with the answers that the client gave us initially. So here, uh, when I asked them to identify the problem, they, uh, th the problem that they're trying to identify is the problem that their customer has. So for instance, this says people can't buy exactly what they want, um, people don't have the time or skill to build what they want and not a lot of skilled, uh, there's not a lot of skilled custom woodworkers in their area. In this area is just north of Orlando. Contractors can't be trusted and are limited to home improvement and not home decor. So let me uh, remind you that this is not the opinion of the client that I'm working with, um, but this is the presupposition or the, uh, the guess that their customers are having these issues. So now let's take a look at their customers. They are busy people between 30 and 60 years old. They have above average income. I would say average income that's above $40,000. So we're probably looking between 40 and $60,000. And then there are women who love uh, to use Pinterest and to use Facebook. So these are okay um, demographics, um, but maybe I would want to extract a little bit more out of there. And then let's look at their solutions. So in order to solve for um, busy people, 36 years old, who can't buy exactly what they want, they're selling them custom furniture. People that, that don't have the time or skill to build what they want, they are selling them custom furniture. Uh, they're doing personal consultations and updates along with the building process to ensure the customer's needs are met. So these are all kind of one-to-one -one problem solutions for each customer. Um, the, the first few uh, sections of this uh, document, so one through five, are really identifying product market fit. And I'll speak about this in a number of my different videos, but we're looking at, uh, we're trying to see if the, the product or service that you're offering your customers are actually delivering value to um, solve a problem. So let's take a look at their competitors. Uh, their competitors are general contractors, which uh, they're saying are overly priced, licensed, and insured. And uh, when I asked them um, who else is their competition, they, they replied with maybe some um, construction or lumber, lumber yards that are kind of monopolizing the area. And as you can see here, they left the unfair advantage blank. So my first uh, recommendation for them was to extract like, what do you think is your unfair advantage? Why should I choose you over the competition? And they gave us some answers. Uh, so I'm just gonna put these answers in here, uh, which was uh, they, they follow um, best practices. Um, they're honest and knowledgeable. They're relational. They have a personalized touch and they were looking at doing some Christian counseling. The uh, owner of the company is um, really adept to uh, Christian knowledge and, and biblical knowledge. And so we wanted to maybe include some sort of unfair advantage there. As far as the other qualities go that the, they're saying is their unfair advantage, it's not really different from what other people say. So I would want to, you know, really 
try to drive home what their unfair advantage is by having it be something that's completely unique. I realized that they didn't have a fine-tuned product market fit, and so I wanted to go back in here and figure out who are their customers and what is the problem that we're trying to solve for each one of them and how are we solving it specifically. So I actually went through and, and interviewed this client and we found out that um, the people that can't buy what they exact, exactly what they want are purchasing those things um, from traditional box stores. All right, so for not a lot of skilled custom workers in my area, we defined that a little bit more uh, closely to their area so people don't have access to skilled and top rated carpenters in the Deltona area. And then contractors that can't be trusted, uh, we removed that um, as it's not necessarily a problem that we've identified in their customer base. For people don't have the time or skill, um, we actually replaced that with people can't customize their dining tables to their home. They are forced to buy what is already available. So I want you to focus here on dining tables. Why are we talking about dining tables specifically? Well, we're talking about dining tables because their new unfair advantage, as I interviewed him, was that they actually really want to specialize in custom dining tables. So that was a new piece of information that I got from the client after interviewing them for a while. If you're working on this for your own company, you want to be really diving in deep, grab, grabbing a, uh, a fresh piece of paper and just writing down these ideas and after you feel like you've exercised all of your ideas, start with a new piece of paper and try again. Because there's something to be said about the brain and the capacity to come up with more ideas when you force it into a situation where you have to do that. So if this is your own company, you'll want to spend a lot of time building your own business model. All right, moving on, we wanted to uh, narrow down the customer segments. So we had busy people, 30 to six years old. Um, now we're going to change that to business professionals with sufficient expendable income. We're going to talk about the women who love Pinterest and Facebook. We're changing that to women in average to above average households. And then we're removing the average income above 40,000. And then we're also looking, because of the market that they're in, we're looking at seniors and others with a taste for art deco. So the solutions have changed a little bit. Instead of custom furniture, blanket furniture, we're actually now doing custom dining tables. And instead of reasonable prices, you never want to compete on price, we're doing accent pieces. And then instead of personal consultation and updates along the process, we're doing custom art carpentry. So without looking at the competitors this time, we're beginning to see a very unique business model to this carpenter. He's specializing in dining tables and they're customizing accent pieces around the dining table. So let me dive a little bit more into that with their new unfair advantage. Their new unfair advantage is we design unique dining tables to match the space and breathe life into your home. We consider the dining table the foundational piece of art in your home and therefore we design all other pieces around this. So now we have a unique business model with a great product market fit because somebody needs a dining table for their home. This guy will go into the house, he will uh, map the space, he will design a dining table with complementary wood, complementary stains, and complementary size to the space that you have and then he'll recommend different upsells or cross sells based on the decor that you have around your house. That could be anything from a cutting board to the rolling pin in your kitchen to the front home address sign that's outside your house or a shelf. Everything is catered to your home but also tying into the design and the feel of the dining table. So in this instance, we have differentiated his business from all other carpentry businesses in the area because nobody is doing this. Now, I do like to showcase all of our customers after the LAM model. 
So this is the Anna Hill and Company Woodworking Furniture and Home Decor website. It's AnnaHillandCo.com if you want to check it out. Here they do custom dining tables. They do ship nationwide and they do custom woodworking. You can see some of their latest creations. This guy is a master at carpentry. So definitely recommend checking them out. I'll leave the link in the description. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. We want to share this lean agile model for business with the whole world, teach people how to innovate their business model, differentiate themselves from the competition. Please leave your ideas in the comments below. We'd like to know which business models you want us to feature next or submit your own at lamb.invents.com. And we'll maybe feature you guys in the future episodes. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you'll catch me next time. Oh,